Um, like he said, my name is Renato, and I work as a software developer here at Mirego, not actually here, here in Montreal, but in Quebec. Uh, as usual, we are hiring uh, on embouche, en français, désolé, mais... Okay, if you want to apply, there's a lot of guys here from Mirego who can also talk about it and know how the company works. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Google Cloud Run together with Elixir Boilerplate, which I'll explain later. But Google Cloud Run is a new service that Google released in the last Google Cloud Next a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was in alpha, closed alpha before that, but now it's in beta. And basically, it's serverless. So everything we know about serverless with uh, AWS Lambdas or even Google Functions, it's the same principle with Cloud Run, just with a small difference that I'm gonna show. So basically, the benefits that we have is the same that we have with every serverless. Uh, this is actually a copy from the doc, so don't don't need to read everything. I'm gonna send the slides after the presentation, so it's just easier. Uh, basically, the specs that you have for each services that you run on Google Cloud Run, it's still in beta, so the stacks should be the same as in production, but we don't have the support from Google right now. So if you're gonna run something in production with Cloud Run, take care, it's up to you. And the APIs should be stay the same, Google not supposed to change them. But basically these are the specs that we have for one instance of our services in Google Cloud Run. And basically those are the languages that we have to support in Google Cloud Functions and AWS Lambdas. And the really nice thing about Google Cloud Run is that we can forget everything about that because Google Cloud Run is just a container, a Docker container. You have to listen to one port, to one environment variable called port to start up your server and it doesn't matter the language or the framework that you put inside. So to us that work is with Elixir most of the time, I hope, or for pet projects. Now we can use serverless, the same concepts of the serverless with Elixir. We can write all parts of our projects with the same language. You don't have to write something in a different language just because you want to run serverless. And to use as example, to put on Google Cloud Run, I'm gonna use Elixir Boilerplate, which is an open source project that we released here in Mirego a couple of weeks ago. And it's open source, it's basically the base with everything that we run our projects in Elixir. So if, we, if I need to start a project, I'm gonna clone this from the, the GitHub repo. It has all the bases with the frameworks, all the configurations, the best practice for an Elixir project. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is the description of everything that comes inside Elixir boilerplate. Also a copy from the documentation, so it's just easier to read after. And that's all, because now, no, 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 because now I just want to try to show you guys how this thing runs. It's okay, guys in the back can see. Cool. So, I'm just gonna clone the, the hippo from Elixir Barley Plate. Just go inside, I'm gonna remove the git folder because it's not going to be the same repo, I'm going to do my own project here. We have a script to rename and replace everything that we need from, inside, from the boilerplate to the name of our projects. I'm just going to rename my folder also and boilerplate can run. Uh, to run the boilerplate straight to the Google Cloud Run, there's just one thing that I have to change. And I think I have to increase that also, yay. Which is, in Google Cloud Run, it's a container, it's serverless. So we don't have the concept of running our database at the same place. We should use the, the Google services for that, Google Cloud SQL, Google, Google.store. And for that, I have to remove just the support for Ecto from boilerplate. If not, we are going to have some problems. So, I don't need this. Mm, I don't need this. No, neither this. And neither this. And the boilerplate comes with an endpoint already in a Phoenix project with the health, which is the health of a service, 
<laughs> not much response just okay with the version of the, the project that I'm in right now just to prove that I'm not lying or cheating or anything I'm just gonna change the message with some typos that to actually prove <laughs> so okay I have all the changes that I need in boilerplate now I'm gonna use another thing that comes with boilerplate which is make build which is gonna create for me the image the docker image with everything why running the the make not like doing by myself because doing the make we do a lot of other stuff like putting the versions putting the right names on the image and everything else you can do by yourself but come on comes for free so why not why are we it's building oh shit I'm just gonna show just the console for Cloud Run. So, yeah, it's okay. This is where I create all my services in Google Cloud Run. You can see, guys, it's stream beta, but that's okay. Uh, after my image is done, it's still compiling, so. I'm just gonna do the push from the container image, from my, my Docker image, to Google Cloud Repository. I'm gonna create a new service, I'm gonna select the image. I already have one here and I don't want to wait, but I'm gonna select the image that I have already. You're gonna put for me the name, the location so far, since it's stream beta, I only have one region to, to deploy my services. I'm gonna check allow unauthenticated invocation so I can call externally. And I have some other options if I want to tweak something, but usually the, the defaults are pretty good most of the time so you can have memory maximum requests per container I can change the request timeout up to 15 minutes which I think it's a lot and I can add some variables if I want to so if I need it I'm gonna put it uh, there's one by default which is the port which is supposed to start up my server listen to that environment variable in that port this comes for free I don't need to, to define it here but if I want to I can put some secrets or something else here just gonna create my service and then I'm start praying to everything works which I hope it's fast you guys can see <laughs> no it's just the first time it's doing beta come on it's not that bad okay it's up there there is an URL for me and if I go to health and the code start also takes a couple of seconds but after the first code start you never have like zero instance of your services always there is at least one and the scale up is going to be automatically like any serverless and here we go and the message is completely different because I did the same presentation yesterday in another meetup so that's the message that I put for them and uh, still building and it's finished so nice so just imagine that I have my service already like I have a service running I want to deploy a new version of the service uh, these steps it's actually basic for any time that you need to send a message to send an image to to Google Cloud repository I'm just gonna tag the image if you guys can see I have the image boilerplate cloud run based on the name of my project that make build created and I just tag it with a new name that I can do a docker push to Google so docker push <laughs> it's so good to have a better Wi-Fi this step yesterday didn't work because I was in a shitty Wi-Fi <laughs> today is much better Okay, so I came here, I have my service already. I'm gonna deploy a new version. I'm gonna select the image, so I have this one just now. I'm gonna continue, deploy. And I still have my old version up and running. It's gonna deploy a new one. There is, it's a stream beta. There is a couple of things that they have in the roadmap already. There is a mail list with a bunch of guys giving feedback and they have some Google guys of, over there and sometimes they give us the, the roadmap of the features one of them like if you see there's a column saying traffic 
So far, when I have a new revision, you're going to see that it's going to sh shift like 100% from one revision to the other, like he did. So the new version has 100% of the traffic. But there is like close close in the roadmap to put something like I can select how the percentage that I want. So you can do like canary releasing. I have a new version, but I, want, I only want 10% of my requests or things like that. And if I go back here, and we hope I have a new message with the new version. So basically that's it. If you need to scale up, scale down, blah, 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 all the management, I don't have to do anything. Just remember, it is still serverless. It's not a service that you're going to put a container with everything that you have, the entire project there. You have some constraints about memory run. How can you write in the file system of the container? You have to take care of that because you never know when your instance is going to be up or not. Google can simply kill your instance, uh, any instance when they want. So keep that in mind. But if your project needs a serverless, now you can write serverless. With Elixir, you don't have to shift to another language to write this piece. And just the last slide with the links for the documentation of Google Cloud Run, the Elixir boilerplate, and the demo code that I don't think it exists yet, but I'm going to do the push. <laughs> but basically, that's it, the presentation. Thank you very much.